Rebecca here. Everybody talks about technical analysis, but very few people actually understand it. Lucky for you, I'm one of those people. Now if images of math degrees and computer models come to mind, then those Wall Street guys have done a good job of scaring you away from something that's actually quite simple and logical. Let me walk you through it. Technical analysis simply ignores the fundamentals like earnings and book value and focuses on the short term supply and demand for a given stock. Is it undervalued? Who cares? If nobody's buying, it's going down. Is it overvalued? Well, not if everybody and their brother wants a piece of it, right? Today we're going to look at three technical indicators called MACD or MACD, volume and stochastic. Sounds scary? Well, they're not, and they may help you decide whether or not to make a short-term trade. Now, there's a saying among tech groups, the trend is your friend. And MACD is nothing more than the use of two moving averages to identify a trend. One is an average over a longer period than the other. If one of the moving averages crosses the other, it can signal a change in momentum of the stock price. For example, here's a stock on a downtrend. Now you're wondering whether it's a steal, but you're afraid it may continue plummeting. You don't want to catch a falling knife. Here's how you know when a stock has hit bottom. You'll see the shorter average cross over and move above the longer average. That's a bullish indicator. Now you'll also notice a zero line. If the MACD goes above zero and crosses over, that's an even stronger bullish indicator. Now as much as I love MACD, that's just one part of the story. Volume is the second thing that you want to look at. Ancient technical knowledge goes by these principles. Stocks going down on relatively heavy volume are not good buys, while stocks going up on heavy volume are. Stocks going up on weak volume may be false indicators. Think about it. If you go to Amazon.com and one five-star book has over 1,000 positive reviews and another has only 10, which would you trust? Finally, let's look at the stochastic indicator. Stochastic is just a fancy way of saying whether a stock is overbought, which is above 80 on the chart, or oversold, which is below 20 on the chart. Now, it only works if a stock is in a range, so it's a great tool to use to evaluate a bottom. If the stochastics are in the oversold range, that's a solid short-term indicator for a buy. And that's it. Now you're equipped with three widely used technical indicators I'm going to send you on a little scavenger hunt. Go to zecco.com and use the interactive charts to see if you can find stocks with the following. MACD, the shorter average blue line crossing the longer average red line. Price going up on heavy volume. And last but not least, stochastic in the oversold area. Now if you can, that's a pretty bullish indicator. But remember, nothing is guaranteed. What the technical gods giveth, the fundamental gods taketh away, or something like that. Want to learn more? Check out the educational resources at zecco.com. Thank you for joining me.